right, so we're going to open up GarageBand and learn how to use some loops. If you go to New Project, you'll see they have piano, electric guitar, voice, loops, keyboard collection, acoustic instrument, all that stuff, songwriting. Don't worry about it. Don't click on movie. You're going to go to loops because here you can get to pick a bunch of sounds that are already pre-made. You got to click choose and then title it what you want. So if we're going to make interview music, then we can do interview uh, sequence. All right. And then click, you don't have to worry about any of this because we can change that later, and then click Create. So you'll have an empty screen here and you won't have any tracks selected or any instruments. To get some instruments, you go over here and they have all these sounds that are grouped together. Um, first, you can pick if you want to go somewhere different in the world or you want to talk about somebody's background, if they're from a certain country, you can click on World Music. Um, and then maybe if they are from somewhere like India, you can click on strings and maybe they'll have something like this that'll fit. Once you've picked a loop that you like, you can click on it and then drag it over into the main uh, workspace here. And then you'll see your track will pop up and this is a type of string. That was a sitar that was playing. So that's a type of string instrument. Um, from there, if you wanna get more creative, you can choose another type of what we call patch or loop here. And you wanna find something that's gonna blend with a string instrument or a sitar. So what you can do is you can start thinking of rock bands. So in a rock band, you would have a guitar, a bass, and then some percussion, like a drum set. So if we have a guitar here, maybe we want a bass. So we can click off of world, and then if we just go around here and look for bass, here's bass. And we don't want alternative rock, because that's not going to go with something that's from India. But something like this. Let's see if any of these fit. We can see any of these that are highlighted will do. Um, let's see. Groovy electric. No, something pretty basic. If you're thinking about world music, it's best to stick with something that's Latin. Don't go to jazz or rock. And you don't want anything that has too many moving notes. Let's see if this fits. That works, and then you see that this one is shorter than this one, so what we have to do is we have to click and put two more. You can also click on that and highlight one of the loops, and then if you hit Command-C, or if you go up to Edit, Copy, and then click your cursor where you want it and hit Command V or Edit Paste, you'll see that it'll pop up again. I'll, I'll do that again. Now we need to extend this a little bit more, so we're going to hit Command Copy, put our cursor at 3, Command V to paste, and now we have a bass part. That fits. The only thing is that I think the bass is a little too loud, so I can go up here and bring the volume down. That's a lot more subtle, so that'll fit. I think the last thing that's missing here is maybe some percussion. So if you go in here, it'll give you a lot of uh, a lot of ideas and a lot of instrument patches. So if we want to think of something that reminds us of the Middle East, we're probably not going to choose um, a conga drum or a clave. That's going to be too uh, too prominent. So this might work because we're talking about the Middle East or India. So we can bring that over, and you'll see we need to double it again, so I'll copy, and then paste, and then that looks like it's going to be a little too loud. If it hits the red dot over here, that's called clipping. You want to turn that off. Make sure that your fader over here doesn't hit the red. So there's also a click that's going on. If I bring everything, if I make everything muted, we're still going to hear this click. And you don't want that in your recording. That's your metronome. You can turn that off by clicking this guy right over here. Okay. 
So now if I unmute everything, or if I want to solo something, you can hear how it sounds without the metronome. <laughs> That's all good because um, before I was talking, you can see that the faders didn't have any red dots. But down here, there was a red dot. So we got to click that off and then bring the master volume down. Now, let's say that I want it something a little bit more relaxing and that's too slow. I can go over here to project and then I can change my tempo. The lower the number, the slower it'll be. So if I go down to 90, this is what it suddenly sounds like. And then if you're having a really exciting chase scene in a movie, you're going to bring up the tempo because you want a, a, faster, a faster pace or a faster heartbeat. And these are your beats per minute. So in one minute, there are 160 clicks. So your metronome would be going 160 times if you had it on um, in one minute. It's always a good idea too, if you have a fast tempo, that you can use that as a transition when you're using fast motion in your movies. So uh, we got some percussion, we got electric bass, we got strings. You can add a little bit more too and you can add a shaker, stuff like that. Um, <laughs> That's a little fast because our tempo is fast, but this is what it would sound like. And percussion, you don't want too loud. The thing, uh, the track with the most moving notes, which for us is this exotic sand one, um, is what you want to hear the most. So that's got the fader that's the highest. But everything else should be pretty low because it's in the background. When you listen to a rock song, you don't want to listen to just the drum set. And then copy it over. Click up here. Whenever you want to paste something, don't just click here in the black in the main um, main workspace. You have to click on this ruler guy to get it pasted where you want it. Also, make sure you select the correct track because if I click percussion and I want to paste something here, watch what happens. My sh my shaker part just covered up the um, Indian tabla. So, but I can click on it and drag it down and then copy this guy and paste him back over here. Now, if I want to keep looping this for a longer time, I'm going to highlight all of it, hit copy, and my cursor is already set here, and then hit Command V or paste again, and then ta-da, there's a ton of stuff. If I zoom out, I can zoom out by clicking this little um, pentagon, I guess, and move it this way, now I can see everything. I didn't make any of my material shorter, I can just see it all right now. Uh, finally, when you are ready to turn this into an MP3 export, um, you can burn a CD or you can send song to iTunes. Say you don't like any of this, you can get rid of your tracks. You can hit shift, hold those, and then delete all these, go track, delete track, delete, delete. And then if you want something basic for an interview, um, you hear always a lot of jazz music, so you can find some simple jazz music over here. Um, a bossa nova is usually a little bit slower, so you can bring that over. And there is your interviewing lounge music, and you can make it slower. So it can be that simple, um, and that's a jingle because it has multiple instruments already. Or you can go ahead and do it separately. In here, I hear, um, I hear a shaker, I hear a saxophone, and a piano. So you could have picked a piano, a saxophone, a shaker, and then a drum set. So you could have done that on your own too. All right, I hope that helps. And uh, have fun making your movies. <laughs>